This morning we're heading to Port-au-Prince. We're catching a UN uh, chartered helicopter here uh, at 7 in the morning. Uh, we've got our team here, Mike Brennan's from the American Academy of, of Ophthalmology and uh, Kathleen Casey's from our uh, colleague, from our fellow of the American College of Surgeons. So we're, uh, we're on our way. First and foremost, um, complete uh, being overwhelmed by the scale of this, but uh, equally hoping that there is some important part that we can play in determining what, how the U.S. can really look at a long-term plan for this. We feel that by uh, forming first, uh, trusting personal relationships with our Haitian physician colleagues, uh, individually, collectively, organizationally, uh, we'll be better able to serve them, care for their patients. We're here in Port-au-Prince. Uh, we're actually at the uh, embassy here, the Dominican Public Embassy. We were able to land here, uh, meeting our team, hopefully try to help with coordination and help with capacity building. We uh, got here 10 days ago and we were the first relief for the first responders. We took over after two weeks. We're, we're going through that clear uh, transition out of more of a supporting a primary care module. We're seeing still 10 to 50 percent earthquake related stuff, but the rest of it is really more acute illnesses and management of chronic illnesses. The orthopedic is also transiting now away from um, the acute care, the long term management. There's lots of people that have amputations, or external fixators, or other orthopedic devices that, that are going to need both long term care for the injury and then the rehabilitation process, which could be months. That's a huge need. So, on the day of the earthquake, there were somewhere, depending on the stories you hear, somewhere between 70 and 150 nurses in there taking qualifying exam. And only one lived. It took, so, it took out the entire nursing crop for the country. Oh. Nursing school for the country of Haiti. Mm. Oh. Oh. And they're still there. We're going to be meeting with the uh, Ministry of Health uh, a liaison as well to talk about capacity building, uh, how organized medicine can, uh, in the states can work with our Haitian counterparts uh, and, and help A, fill the immediate gap so this becomes a significant issue uh, as far as training and education. I think there's a role there. We began to understand their intermediate and long-term uh, needs. Uh, we focus uh, in general uh, terms on material resources that we can uh, assist in, in delivery. And then we also focused on uh, volunteer uh, resourcefulness uh, from our specialty societies to fill some, some very grave needs. There's the misperception sometimes by the press that there is an oversupply of doctors. Uh, there may be, uh, in some cases, a maldistribution some incapacity to put the right physician in the right place at the right time, and that's what we think we can help. We just finished our meetings looking at sustainable strategies in, in helping uh, Haiti rebuild and go forward. Uh, I think it was a tremendously fruitful and productive uh, discussion, and in fact, we've already uh, since received emails uh, Looking forward to potential collaborations, joint collaborations between ourselves and the Haitian Medical Association uh, and, and using our NGO counterparts as a conduit. Mm -hmm.